I did some thinking and now I have the balancing of this tree. Let's go through it from the beginning. We have A followed by B. That's still in balance. And now at the moment we hit the G, we're out of balance because we now have zero on the left and two on the right. That means we need to do a left rotation. The B will come up to here, the A will move down to the left, and we'll end up with the G here. So far, so good. Now we have a tree that's in balance. When we add L, we're still in balance. Again, the difference in height is at most one. But when we hit an M, then all of a sudden everything goes bad because now we have a balance factor of negative two, zero on the right, zero on the left, excuse me, two on the right. That means we're going to have to rotate around G. Our B and A are going to stay where they were. And now the L is going to move up here, the G is going to move down to the left, and the M is going to rotate into this position. Hooray, we're back in balance. Until the letter S comes along, and then we're out of balance again. And now we're going to have to balance here at B, because this is where the imbalance is. The subtree at L is perfectly okay. This is 2 minus 1, we're good. When we get to B, we have 1 minus 3, and then we get negative 2, and boom, we're out of order. So we have to rotate around B. That means the L is going to come up to the top, and the B is going to come down to where the left, what left of L was, but there's something already there. That means what we're going to do is we're going to copy the tree with B and A, into there where G used to be. Where's the G going to go? The G is going to become the right child of this new node here. And then we have our M and our S. Those remain unchanged. And now we're back in balance. And that is our final balance tree.